Hello friends, today I am going to say a few words on instrumental variable regression model. Regarding the basic knowledge is concerned, uh, instrumental variable regression is a general way to obtain a consistent estimator of the unknown coefficients of the population regression function when the regressor is correlated with the error term. An instrumental variable is a third variable, sometimes called an instrument variable used in the regression analysis when we have endogenous variable in the regression model. Now endogenous variables are those variables which are influenced by the error term of the model. Instrumental variable regression basically splits the explanatory variable into two parts. One part that could be correlated with the error term and the another part that probably uncorrelated with the error term of the regression. Giving one example, suppose the mental depression and consumption of alcohol are correlated. A depressed person generally like to consume alcohol to get free from depression. So we can write our regression model is like this. Alcohol consumption equals to alpha plus beta depression plus ui. Now the degree of linear association between alcohol consumption and depression might be described as by a third variable say lack of job opportunities or unemployment situation of that particular person. Due to lack of job opportunities somehow makes a person get depressed and which ultimately stimulates to consume uh, alcohol cigarettes, drugs, etc. and etc. Hence, lack of job opportunities are not directly related to alcohol consumption, but it affects through the channel of depression. Therefore, lack of job opportunities, that is the third variable, may be treated as an instrumental variable, provided it fulfills certain criteria. That means it can be measured and its behavior can be accounted for. It is not affected by other independent or explanatory or exogenous variable in the model. And it is uncorrelated with the error term of the model also. And a very significant or strong correlation should be there between the potential endogenous variable and the third or instrumental variable. Now giving example 2, suppose uh, we are interested in the wage return to education and experience. Suppose the regression function is like this log of wage equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 education plus beta 2 experience plus error term. Now it is quite reasonable to assume that education and experience are not correlated. That is expected value of education and experience it is equals to 0. Now we know that education may also depends on family size, father's education, mother's education, health, intelligence, persistence, social networking, etc. etc. If we don't have any control over these variables, if we cannot able to uh, measure this, which are not included in the equation, uh, but uh, but treated in the error term, hence expected value of education and error term equals to zero. But if we have some control, if we can have some measure over this variable, then we can say that education, expected value of education and error term not equal to zero. And education may be treated as an endogenous variable. Hence, application of OLS will give us biased as well as inconsistent estimates about population parameter. Here lies the importance of instrumental variable to SLS regression model. We can choose family size and father's education, mother's education as an instrument for education variable. Since family size is generally negatively related to education and father's and mother's education 
are positively related with education. So, in the first stage, we regress education on family size and uh, or father's and mother's education as an instrument variable instrument for education and other explanatory exogenous variables in the model. Hence, our first stage regression equation looks beta education equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 family size plus beta 2 father's education plus beta 3 mother's education plus a root term. If this estimated parameter, especially the instrumental variable estimated value, uh, we can take, uh, uh, especially the instrumental variable, we can take the predicted values of education. Uh, suppose, sorry, if this estimated uh, value of the parameter uh, or the coefficients of the instrumental variable is statistically significant, uh -huh. then we can we can take the predicted values of uh, education um, as an independent variable in the second stage regression equation. Hence, our second stage regression equation stands for log of wage equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 education hat plus beta 2 experience plus zero term. Now, if we apply OLS in uh, in equation 4, last equation, the estimators will be unbiased and consistent. So, this is known as two-stage least square instrumental variable regression model and also known as we can uh, estimate manually. This is known as manual estimation of the 2 SLS uh, instrumental variable regression. Now, we can compare this result with the results uh, of, uh, of our initial regression model that is equation 1 to check the differences. Both the manual estimation of 2 SLS IV regression instrumental variable regression uh, sorry, but the manual estimation of 2 SLS instrumental variable regression does not provide correct standard error since the software does not recognize that education hat are predicted values rather than the actual values. To get the correct standard error, we have to apply IV regress command in strata rather than uh, doing manual procedure just stated. Hence, the strata command will be IV regress since we are measuring the method 2 SLS, 2 SLS, name of the dependent variable, name of the uh, exogenous variable, name of the endogenous variable, but you have to give bracket equal to sign, name of the instrumental variable or variables, then enter, then the result will come. Hence, the standard error will be modified, that means uh, lower than the previous standard error, or we can say that corrected standard error, other things will remain same. Here, we will get the same estimated parameter, but a slightly different standard error. Now, we can test for endogeneity of the variable, nature of the uh, instrument, very, uh, instrument, whether it is weak or not, uh, the model is over identified or not, all these tests can be done uh, one after another. Generally, if the number of instrument is greater than the number of endogenous variable, it will be over identified. If they are same, the system will, will be just identified. If the number of instrument is less than uh, the number of endogenous variable, the system will be under identified. So, it depends on the number of instruments. Now, suppose our hypothetical data set consists of like this data daily average wage of taxi puller or say toto puller whatever it may be it depends on age age of the taxi puller or toto puller education and that that taxi is owned or that means his own or hired taxi or not so time given uh, in pulling taxi or toto uh, his experience in pulling taxi or toto and whether he is treated taken this profession as primary occupation or secondary occupation. These are the variables and this is the dependent variable. 
the data are hypothetical data set. So we have imported the data into Stata software. For our uh, simple benefit, uh, we have renamed the variables name as daily, average, always, as wage, uh, rename experience as XP, rename education as edu, rename time given as time, uh, owned or hired the taxi or toto that is uh, only own, uh, rename primary occupation as uh, POCCU, it implies primary occupation. Now our first work is to run simple OLS regression. So the command will be uh, reg or regress wage the name of the dependent variable independent variable age experience education and primary occupation after enter uh, the result is like this this is the result the estimated coefficients are like this age is positively related okay with the increases of age uh, the income average daily income increases by this extent Similarly, experience according to this hypothetical example is negatively re related though it is not statistically significant. Similarly, education is positively related with average income uh, with increases of education by one year income increases. If the, uh, the totopolars or autopolars is taken as primary occupation, his income is 112 more than those who have taken as secondary education uh, sorry secondary occupation since it is dummy variable we have to explain in this way so those who have taken as primary occupation his income is 112 rupees more 0.58 more than uh, those who have taken as secondary occupation in this way the OLS regression can be estimated and explained now since we are uh, going to apply the two stage uh, least square instrumental variable regression model so and we have uh, assumed that the po the potential endogenous variable is uh, the primary occupation hence we have taken the primary occupation we have to regress now primary occupation on time given to that occupation and it is his own or rented this is our first stage regression so first stage regression model stands for regress the primary occupation as dependent variable and time and time given and it is his own or rented the these two as independent variable but these two are not given in our model in our actually this is instrumental variable okay this is instrumental variable so if we regress this the result is like this time and the ownership pattern it is his own or rented both are significant statistically significant though the ownership is 10 percent level but time devoted to the taxi or total pooling is one percent level significant so we can easily take these two as an instrumental variable apparently since these two are significant hence we have to calculate the predicted value since we can take the predicted value that means we are uh, we are isolating splitting the primary occupation uh, into those portion th that part which is not related to error term okay not related to error term so the command is predict primary occupation hat x b okay so this value will be already included in the regression in the in the excel file look this is ex in excel file it is already included this is excel file primary occupation hat this value so this variable we have to include into our second stage re regression model so our second stage regression model stands for regress wage age experience these are explanatory variable or exogenous variable education also and now we have taken uh, the primary occupation hat that is estimated value of uh, primary occupation hat as an independent variable now the result is like this ok so the result shows that those who have taken the taxi or auto uh, or auto pooling as primary occupation their income is 342 more than those who have taken as secondary occupation but in our ordinary regression we have seen that it is only 112 so there is a huge improvement 
with the application of two stage least square uh, instrumental variable approach this me this method is known as two stage um, least square instrumental variable uh, estimation through manually so since we have calculated first stage regression then we have applied second stage regression but the problem is the standard error is not uh, given in the manual estimation of two stage least square uh, is not correct just to get the corrected version of the standard error uh, we have to apply uh, this command that means iv regress command so you have to write in the comment section iv regress to sls wage age mm, the experience education and you write the endogenous variable primary occupation here is equals to equal give equal to time and the name of the two instrument instrumental variable if the number of instrumental variable is one then it is known as the system is unjust identified if the number of instrument is generally it is more than one because the endogenous variable is one the system generally should yield uh, the over identified system and if the number of endogenous variable is higher compared to the instrumental variable the system is under identified so theoretically we know this we have to prove this one also later on so after giving the iv regress command iv regress to sls oh age experience education and this command within bracket the endogenous variable equals to time uh, own that means instrumental variable we will get the result so this is the corrected version of standard error here again we see that those who have taken the toto or auto pooling or taxi pooling as primary occupation their income is 345.6 one uh, higher than those who have taken as secondary occupation this is 342 again improvement 345 so in this way we can able to uh, run the iv regress command for uh, estimating the instrumental variable regression model with the help of two sls regression uh, approach or something like this now we can check whether it is uh, mm, the mm, like this post estimation uh, reports and statistics okay if we go to perform the test of endogeneity this is known as endogeneity test okay click okay the endogeneity test that means the variable that we have taken as endogenous variable primary occupation okay the null hypothesis is variables are exogenous but the darwin and hausmann test shows it is significant that means we can reject the null hypothesis the variables are exogenous it is rejected so what the variable we have taken as endogenous is correct so the test of endogeneity is fulfilled in our uh, model okay since this value is significant similarly we can also test the uh, instrument is weak or strong what we have taken okay so report first stage regression Re click here first stage regression statistic first stage click okay okay this result shows that primary occupation this value okay so oh, this is point 0.047 the partial r square so uh, it shows that uh, this is not small we cannot say it is small okay so the instrument that has been taken instead of primary occupation or which is uh, used uh, to influence primary occupation okay indirectly uh, to the dependent variable is not weak and also the ape statistic also is significant okay the minimum eigen statistic is 25.41 is also significant it shows that the instruments are weak this is null hypothesis instruments are not weak we can reject the null hypothesis instruments are not weak similarly we can test whether it is over uh, regression statistics go to whether it is over identified or just identified click okay okay look one thing the a stat over identified the system the sargon and basman test shows that the null hypothesis is accepted because the p value is is greater than 0.05 hence test of over identifying restriction that means the system is over identified it is proved so in this way in the post estimation we can able to in the post estimation okay and go to this uh, this uh, reports and statistics we can able to check the endogeneity we can able to check the whether it is over identified or not whether the the instruments are weak or not so in this way we can able to run the iv regression so that's all for today thank you for your patience uh, 
uh, uh, viewing. And if you like, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. That's all.